about your transfers? There are three girls that, from what I can tell, are instant impact, especially uh, Folks coming. She gets to play immediately. But the two Georgia girls, they got they got a year pretty much in your system. They got to work with you. What do you think about those three girls? Well, all three of them have immersed themselves uh, into uh, our philosophies and our program. And all three of them, they were all very well connected with some players on our team. So uh, I think for the most part, it was an easy transition for them. I think probably the hardest part was um, getting to know the coaching staff. but. Being a new coaching staff, the whole team was in the same boat. So I feel like they, I feel like especially Allison and Julia have been here. Uh, they've only been here, they've only not been here one semester more than me. I've been here one semester more than they have. So, uh, you know, we're all very anxious and eager for them to get in the uniform and on the field since they've been here practicing for so long, a whole entire year. Um, Logan has come right in. She's got, she's full of personality, and again, she's also very well connected with some of the players on our team. So she um, fits right in, and, and has, it's like she was a long lost sister you just instantly find and have a relationship with. So she's just immersed herself right in. The girls have accepted her, and we're, we're excited about her choosing Mississippi State. Just talking about the natural second year familiarity, even the, where the red shirts, veterans, all those, even the kids you sign, it's not as new to them as last year, or for that matter, to you. Absolutely, all uh, you know, you have your coaching people, you have your your little inner circle, and my inner circle says year two is is much harder for the coach, and I've accepted that challenge, uh, and you know, been aware and I've appreciated the advice. So I've tried to head it off and uh, take each day as each day presents. But the girls really have been um, just as eager. And, uh, you know, last year there was such a, you know, newness about everything. But um, that now it's more of a how much more can we learn and an eagerness about them to, uh, represent to prove themselves beyond okay this is what we you know we were able to do in a short period of time with these new people and this uh, you know the the i guess the newness is still there or the eagerness or the um, excitement we're all very we're all everybody is working extremely hard and uh, the, I guess with the addition of three new players and then also we have uh, four in the freshman class so it's you know, there's still a lot of new things going on and a lot of excitement around the program. Like, I mean, all you guys coming out here could not, you know, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. And Kyle is awesome. So, you know, that's exciting. I mean, you know, I told them, you know, there's guys in there that want to talk to y'all. I mean, that's cool. I don't know if that's ever happened to them before. So, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of things, a lot of fun, exciting things going on uh, around them. Um, and, again, we have a lot of things to focus on beyond that, but um, I still think that they're very excited about year two. I know it's a new season, but can y'all build off the April that you had, and does that carry over? you think that all will be fine? Well, you know, uh, I think, you know, it's, it's a, not to be cliche or whatever, but, you know, everything is a process, and, and we have to focus on, well, I tell them all the, day, all the time, today plus today plus today equals your career or equals this season, then thus your career. So um, I hope we build on, you know, the, the players that are here, build on what they learned last year and their knowledge base. You know, nothing trumps experience. You know, all of you guys, and when you're trying to get a job, everybody is like, well, you need experience, you need experience, do an internship. You know, uh, the experience factor, I don't think anything really trumps that. Even athleticism sometimes doesn't trump the experience card. So the, the experience we built last year and the relationship building that we built last year and the uh, conditions of the program and, and the expectations of the program we built in April of last year and the guts we built in April of last year, I would hope would remain with them and then that they use that today plus 
today plus today equals your season and thus your career. So I would hope that it definitely stays with them and they use it as a new stepping stone. So they started in one place and they've learned a lot and now they're starting from a, a higher level and then they, you know, continue to do that. So, um, yes, I hope it does carry on into the new season. Coach, can you kind of go in depth and describe the process of getting Logan folks to come here? How did that really come about? Well, she uh, actually, uh, one of my current players' parents uh, reached out to me at the beginning of the summer and said that she would possibly look to transfer. And um, what is so ironic about when you're recruiting, you tell people all the time, you never know the circumstances um, when they're wanting to know about uh, scholarships or whatnot. You never know what's going to pan out in the cards. Well, at the beginning of the summer, we didn't have a spot for her uh, scholarship-wise, and um, something didn't pan out scholarship-wise. So I called her in August. I mean, it was the end of August. Well, I called the parent. Let's, let's make sure we say all the recruiting rules right. I, I called the parent who called me of the current, and I said, if she's, you know, y'all need to talk to her, have her uh, get me a release and whatnot, and we'll talk to her. And so she sent the release in in um, – not August, but uh, yeah, August. In early August, we got in contact with her. She sent her stuff in, and um, w she was still weighing options. She had a couple of opportunities, and um, she uh, just fell in love. She came over. She fell in love with it. She knew some of our players, which was definitely a, a big, huge positive. So. Um, she spent the fall uh, working on her GPA and got in in January, and here we are. So uh, we were very fortunate that she was still available at the end of the summer, and then I guess fortunate or unfortunate that our other um, situation didn't work out. So however you want to look at that. But um, Logan definitely um, is a great get personality-wise, academically-wise. She loves Mississippi State, and she loves our players, and um, she's fit right in immediately. So. Uh, the process was a long summer for her, I'm sure, um, and lucky for us. I say recruiting has a lot of luck to it. Timing is everything. This kind of takes to the strong points of your lineup, what you see this year. We are fast. Last year we were 22nd in the country in stolen bases. Um, I think we were the year, the year, the, the last year that I – or what do you say? How do you say that? The year I was not here. The previous year. Um, the previous year, thank you. They were they had like 40 something stolen bases, and we jumped to 98 mm -hmm. with basically the same personnel. We really did not start a freshman, so um, same personnel. We jumped to 98, and then we were 22nd in the country in stolen bases. Well, this year we did not lose speed and added two very fast freshmen as well as a red shirt from last year who's a sophomore who also has a lot of speed. So I think we are going to create some um, you, you, speed never slumps. We're going to create some chaos on the bases with, with that. So hopefully they can get on base, or if they're not getting on base, we can pinch run for others who are getting on base and, and be fast. I, I'm excited about that. I think it will be fun for the fans to – you know, be able to see us running and taking extra bases maybe and things like that. So I think we're going to be fast, and I think um, we're, our, we've added Allison Owen in the circle, so we should um, – we improved all of our defensive and pitching numbers last year, so hopefully with the addition of her. And then we also have a freshman, J.C. Punches. Uh, I think, you know, it'll be – our, our circle will have some highlights in the circle as well. And then just returning some veteran players that have played with us for a year and have played a position for a whole year and didn't get moved around um, too terribly much. And you'll see the return of Sam Linehan behind the, behind the plate, who was um, incredible her freshman year and uh, took one for the team and did what was best for the team and played third base last year, and she'll return to behind the dish. So we got some it, – it's promising on paper, so we'll see what we do to work hard and earn it. Can you talk about when you first got here, what were some of the things you wanted to do right away with the pitching staff and talk about their development after one year of you teaching them the things that you wanted to do? Well, you, you, um, I wanted them to know how credible they were and how good they were. And um, 
uh, I wanted to teach them that we were going to utilize a staff more like, in, and I did this with them, we've talked about it several times last year and, and this year, about um, a staff mentality. So if you, back when I played, you know, ages ago, because I'm, you know, so, I'm only 21, you know, so it was just yesterday, but um, when I played, you could go around the country and name one dominant pitcher for every team and the scores were one to nothing. But like we did this yesterday, and we, we all came up, it was all of us, and we came up with about seven around the country that are dominant pitchers and one pitcher pitches the whole game. Well, seven, that's all. So it's my philosophy that we're going to like a baseball mentality where we have a starter and a closer, maybe even a middle relief. And we did that last year, and it might have been people, I, I, I got my sister's a Division II coach, and she said, you know, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that. And um, it, I, I really, and she, after the year, she was like, okay, you have to do that, you know. And it, it um, <coughs> we, we talked a lot about the staff mentality and how each one of them helps the other one uh, set the other one up for success. So we, you know, I wanted to create a culture of confidence and a culture of a staff where they knew that, you know, one does well and that sets up the other one to do well and so then our team does well. And then um, uh, in the bullpen, I wanted them to have a, a, a kind of a, a, an attitude of um, they could fail and it'd be okay because I wanted them to be very, try out lots of things to be experimental to work for what works for them instead of trying to be in a cookie cutter mold of pitching because everybody uh, has a little different nuance. I guess it's like every quarterback's a little bit different and you try to put them in a little cookie cutter mold and they um, might not perform as well. So we've tried, they've experimented with a lot of things, a lot of ideas and um, we've kind of picked what works for each different one to kind of make them a little bit better. And I, I think it was really the, them just really buying into the staff philosophy and whatever I thought was best for the team and their willingness to experiment and their willingness to learn and grow. And they've really just been incredible to coach. I, I, I have Kylie Bryan, Shan, um, uh, Stephanie Becker of their senior year. And I told them the other day, I wish I had two more years with them. I just, it was unfair, I only got two years with them.